Don't be fooled by my tired appearance. I am very excited for today's video. Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Mariam and today I'm going to be talking about a brand new line, Auric, from my girl, Samantha Ravendahl here on YouTube. She just launched this line and I am so, so into it. First of all, when you open up the PR package, everything just looks so chic, so incredibly luxe, expensive, and just the aesthetic speaks to me. I'm sure it speaks to a lot of you, but just because we like the aesthetics, does does not mean that we're going to love the product. So of course in this video, I'm gonna get Team Truth on it, as always and per usual. I'm going to be swatching everything, trying it on my face. Basically, she came out with a liquid luminizer, not a foundation, but it's a product that you can wear underneath your foundation, instead of foundation, or mixed in with your foundation, so I'll be trying it in all different ways. She also came out with some eyeshadows, cream plus powder. I have all three colors here. I'm really, really, really excited. So without further ado, let's jump Jump right into this video. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get into this video. Auric by Sam R. Are we ready for it? Let's find out. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the name. Auric is an adjective of relating to or derived from gold. I also think that auric has something to do with just your general aura, so it kind of has a very nice meaning to me. Like it's very upscale and luxy, being that it is derived from gold, but also it has this very nice sensual aura component to it. Guys, before I even go on, let me just address the fact that I am very swollen this morning and I am just like possibly a little bit hungover. I don't know. I had a couple of drinky poos with my friend last night, you know, whatever. I might have lost a couple brain cells. So if I'm like searching for words, trust me, there's a reason. I actually like when I do my videos in this kind of state because I feel like, I don't know, I'm not really trying too hard to please myself, you know? I'm just being who I'm being. But anyway, Sam sent me this gorgeous PR package and in it we have a card with my name on it. I wanted to open it earlier, but I didn't because I was waiting for this very moment right now. Ooh! Oh, she is the sweetest. You guys, I love Sam. Why is she so dope? Can I just tell you, I've known Sam for so long. I've known her from the beginning of my professional career as a beauty influencer, reviewer, YouTuber. I don't even know what the name is anymore. Sam is just such a breath a fresh air in this beauty industry. She has always been so real, so honest, so raw, and just so unapologetically herself. She never put on a personality or like a YouTube personality in front of the camera. She was always the same person on camera and off camera, and I just love that. You have no idea how much I, as a New Yorker, appreciate that. I love what she's about. I love her story, I love her honesty, and her makeup skills are exceptional. So definitely want to see a line from Sam. Let's get into it, you guys. So number one, we have the Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer, $45. Here is the component, ta-da! So now this product comes in seven shades for all skin tones. I watched Sam's YouTube video and uh, also her promo for her line and just like the visuals were out of this world. It was so cool. I love seeing all the different skin tones represented. Really spoke to me and I, like honestly, I don't remember the last time that I was like this excited for a brand launch. So this packaging feels very luxe, very heavy. It's glass, frosted packaging. The cap is supposed to be a little difficult to take off to prevent spillage and things like that. So basically I was sent three shades, selenite, which is the one that I'm holding onto right now, a light warm beige radiant luminizer. And also I was sent two other shades here, pyrite or is it pyrite? I don't know. So this is a medium olive and also we have a citrine, which is a medium warm. So this is 1.18 fluid ounces, so more than your regular one fluid ounce foundation. And the whole point of this is to make it last. Also, can we just talk about how cool this carton packaging is? Like, it's just so beautiful and it feels so chic. So here's what it says on the back. Highlight smooth, hydrate, innovative polymers, brighten and hydrate dull skin for a healthy natural glow. Wear alone, mix with complexion products, or finish your look for a long, lasting radiance. Love that. Also, the pump is really cool. Basically, you can squeeze out a little bit or a lot, so you have control with this type of pump. Oh, she wasn't kidding. Ooh. Love that. So I squeeze like about a half a pump, and now I just wanna see how it spreads. So I'm gonna do it right here on camera. Ooh, this is gorgeous. So this is the first shade, Selenite. It's not the lightest one. This is the second lightest one, but the first lightest one that was sent to me. Now here we have 
pyrite. Where's pyrite? I have no idea. Really need to find out. This one is absolutely stunning. Definitely has that flesh tone look on me. Probably gonna be the one that I would use either mixed in with my skincare or with my foundation or instead of foundation if I'm having a good skin day. And now for the final one. Wow, you guys, so this isn't just like your average liquid luminizer. There's a lot of pigment here. Each of the shades is very, very distinct. I can totally see myself wearing this shade when I'm a little bit more tan. I can totally see myself using this one as a highlighter and this one just to give myself an overall healthy glow. I am into it. So now what I think I'm gonna do is attempt to use the shade Pyrite or right just on my bare face to see what it would look like as an all-over type of glow I'm gonna probably just apply that with my fingers. I already did my skincare this morning, which is why I'm a little shiny I mean wow this glides just so so effortlessly Definitely reminds me a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish luminizer primer But this one I would say is even more luminous and I really like the fact that it has skin tone pigments with this particular shade being a little bit more on the olive beige side so I can also color correct my flush skin and make it just a little bit more neutral. So definitely loving that so far. I'm looking very, very luminous, very, very glowy. If my skin was perfect, I would probably feel comfortable walking outside like this, but I am breaking out and I do have some enlarged pores. So I'm gonna have to just perfect my texture a little bit. I'm also gonna take this entire swatch that I did. I'm gonna swirl it together and I'm just gonna apply that to my neck and my chest area. Perhaps. I'll even do that with a brush. Hmm, did you see how that just perfected my whole decolletage right here? I mean, I see it and I like it. All right, so this product is actually packed with ultra fine pearl and a skin loving mix of squalane, glycerin, and propanediol. Propanediol. Artistry grade adjustable formula gives you that instant radiance and hydration. It can be worn alone, blended with your favorite skincare, or used as a highlighter on top of foundation. Okay, so that we already know. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach for my very inexpensive Essence My Skin Perfector Tinted Primer. And I'm just gonna apply that to the areas where I wanna smooth out my texture a bit. I'm actually thinking that these two products together might be a really great combo for me, just because this tinted primer is mattifying, it's perfecting, but it's not too matte to the point of fake looking and it works so well with dewy products. So you see how I just perfected this area here, but I still have that glow. I mean, again, like I said before, if my skin was already perfect, I would probably feel very comfortable walking out the door with just these two products on. And maybe just a hint of concealer here and there, but this makes me feel really dewy, really modern, just really fresh and just cool. It makes me feel, I don't know, unpretentious, but just like a better version of myself. I guess that's what I was trying to say. I'm going to show you what my skin looks like up close. All right, so let's hit it. Let's start with this side. This is the better side. This is the side where I'm not really breaking out at the current moment. And I gotta say, this side of the face looks really, really good. I like it a lot. I love the fact that this liquid luminizer isn't texture enhancing, so it's not making my pores look giant. It's not making my breakouts look bigger than what they are, even though mm, this iPhone is doing that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this Revlon Color Stay matte foundation. <coughs> matte foundation. I'm gonna pump just like a pump to the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna do like a pump of that pyrite. Yep, like that. There we go. I'm gonna mix that in real well with my finger, and I'm gonna apply that just like to the areas that I think need a little bit more coverage, and also just to balance out my complexion. Kind of like that. Uh, what I'm also noticing is that it's making this foundation glide on a little bit easier. So if you remember from my previous videos, this foundation is something that I've been testing out and it's a foundation that I like, but it has a little bit of a clingy factor just because it's so mattifying. But this luminizer definitely makes it a little bit silkier. So it makes it apply a lot easier. I mean, <laughs> glowy, baby. All right, I'm gonna take whatever's remaining on the back of my hand, pick it up with that brush, and I guess just apply the rest to my chest and to my neck area, because I don't believe in wasting product. 
I mean, yes, hi. I am really liking the vibe of this. I'm looking at myself in my monitor and I feel like I just look very chic. You see it? Or is it just me? All right, what I'm gonna do next is apply my concealer, set just some of the parts that need to be set, and then I'm gonna apply this product as a highlighter. I'm not gonna go crazy on the concealer. I'm just gonna kinda like, you know, brighten and lift some areas that clearly need brightening and lifting. I have this cool little sponge from NYX that I wanna test out for the first time. Let's see if it's worth a damn. Lee just walked in in between cuts and he was like, wow, those are some nice components. These are some really nice components. I gotta say, just like the heaviness, it feels like a super high-end brand. All right, so now I'm gonna take this translucent setting powder from Dragon Beauty and I'm going to just set some areas that I like to set. Basically, I'm just setting the area around my pore zones and under my eyes and also in between my brows and above the brows. This is what tends to get very oily and greasy on me because I am a very oily skin type. So basically just setting the center of my face, but really going to leave the dew as is. Let me just bronze up real quick, just like super quick. I'm gonna use this House Labs Heat Spell Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. This is the shade Desert. Just gonna like slap that lightly across my forehead. Maybe just a pinchy poo underneath my cheekbones right here. Kissing them, hugging them. And now I'm ready to test out this liquid luminizer, Glow Lust, as an actual highlighter. So I'm gonna reach for the lightest shade that was sent to me, which is Selenite, light warm beige. I'm gonna pick up like a smidge of a squirt. And let's see, you can apply this with a sponge or with a finger. I'm gonna go in with a finger first. <gasps> That was so satisfying. That was so necessary and needed in my life at this very moment. Wow, just so, so gorgeous. A little bit definitely goes a long way when you concentrate it like that with a finger. I'm gonna add some to just like the bridge of my nose here. I'm thinking right here is really nice too, just like on the brow bone. And the rest is gonna go on my other cheek. I mean, this is really, really impressive. I love that it's such a versatile, flexible product that you can use in many different ways. And I also love the fact that it's definitely very skin enhancing. Just look at that. Just look at it, appreciate it, enjoy it. And now with my phone camera, zooming in real close on that skin texture, showing you what we're working with here. That highlighter, ooh. I mean, you guys, is this not pretty or what? All right, next. I am ready to test out these eyeshadows. So for the eyeshadow, we have this cream and powder eyeshadow duo called Smoke Reflect, another glass component. When you open it up, there's a cute little mirror and also kind of like a reflective, shimmery eyeshadow on the top. And then inside, oh, this is just so chic. We have the cream eyeshadow. So the shade that I just picked up is called Temper. And we have two more shades in this collection launch. We also have Ego, which is kind of like a greenish silver, I would say, or maybe like a pewter. Oh, so and the last one is Defiance. Ooh, so it's like a sunny golden champagne and like a bronzy cream. So each one of these duos is $39. I will list the products below, also their availability, and I will also try to link them for you if they are available right now. But for right, right now, let's actually apply this eyeshadow duo to the face. I think I'm gonna go with the shade, ooh. It's kind of hard. I really do like them all. But this sunny yellow definitely spoke to me because I am a lover of gold. So what I'm gonna do is go for the bronze first. I'm gonna just take some from the cap here because I don't believe in wasting products. I'm gonna just pick it up with my finger. Now this is a crease proof formula. So I don't believe you need a primer, but I will say that my lids are super duper oily. But this feels extremely velvety and really easy to work with. So basically I'm just tapping the product on with the finger that I picked the product up with, and then I'm tapping it out or blending it out with another finger, just a clean finger. Well, that was extremely easy. Took me under a minute to apply the eyeshadow on. I feel like it blends in seamlessly into my skin. Looks gorgeous and smoky, perfect for every day. I could probably even add a little bit more if I want the color to be more punchy. I mean, Another just like super flexible, easy to work with formula. All right, let's actually try with a brush, just cause I'm curious. Just gonna pick up this uh, Huda Beauty Naughty Diffuser brush. Just a little bit of product. 
and we'll see how it packs on. Whether you apply this product with a brush or with a finger is totally a preferential thing. You can easily diffuse it or blend it out with either or. I kind of enjoyed feeling the product with my finger. But also I understand sometimes you might not want to use a finger, especially if you have long nails or if you just don't want to get your fingers dirty. But I think with a brush it works just as well. Maybe not as punchy as this side, but just as well. I'm gonna add just a bit more. The fact that you can add more to create more depth and darkness is kind of cool too. So you could play around with dimension by just using this one shadow. I'm digging this. All right, so now I'm gonna utilize this beautiful glitter shadow on the top. Definitely has some sparkles. I wouldn't actually call it a glitter eyeshadow. There's sparkle, there's reflect, and I'm gonna use the mirror. I'm gonna pop that to the very center and kind of just spread across. Oh, it's just so freaking pretty. Also gonna add just a little bit to my inner corner here. Maybe a smidge right there. This product is just making me wanna do the most. But you know what? You probably want swatches. So let me go ahead and swatch each one of these eyeshadows. I'm gonna start out with Defiance, which is the one that I just applied to my face. I'm gonna pick up the cream. Feels like dessert when you actually dip your finger into it. Look at that. And now the topper by itself. Ooh. And how about both of them mixed? I mean, this is just the stuff that like luminous lucid dreams are made of. This is so gorgeous. All right, next up, let's test Ego, which is that absolutely wonderful gunmetal greenish silver. Here it is by itself. Here comes the topper by itself. And now let's put them together. And a boom. All right, and here we have Temper, which was that final one, like a rosy, taupey, coppery, glorious goodness. All right, so here we have the cream shade. And now let's go for the topper by itself. And here we go together. All right, here we have the whole collection. All right, so now that we have done all that, let me go ahead and finish up my makeup and then I'm gonna judge my look. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes. There's really nothing much to finish up here. I definitely don't wanna do a liner. I feel like such reflective eye looks generally just speak for themselves. They don't really need to be enhanced. I don't wanna cover up with falsies. Instead, I just wanna curl my lashes, maybe add a coat or two of mascara. All right, there we go. And now what can I do for lips real quick? Maybe just a little buxom gloss, wing woman. Maybe too much reflective vibes. Okay, no more than that. Let's just leave it at that. All right, you guys, and here is my look. Let me go ahead and uh, look at myself in the mirror and judge everything. So off the bat, this is giving me this effortless goddess sort of sensation. I feel that I look like myself, but I definitely look like the improved version of myself. I started off this video feeling just a little bit under the weather after some drinks that I've had last night. But after applying all of these products to my face, I feel very refreshed. I definitely think feeling good and looking good is a state of mind. With these products on my face, I was actually able to kind of just shift my perspective. So now looking at myself, I feel very beautiful and very natural and just very much like myself. So for that, I am going to give Auric an A+. These products were just like so well thought of. There's a lot of cohesion with this brand. Everything is so smart and everything is there for a reason. Now talking about this glow lust, Radiant Luminizer. This is an awesome product. I love the fact that it's very versatile. It's very flexible. The formula is so easy to work with. The fact that you could use it in multiple ways makes it really cool. $45 is a little bit on the pricey side. Yes, I will admit that, but I feel like this is a brand that is going to be competing with a lot of the luxury products. The fact that this is a glass component, you're getting more than one fluid ounce of product in each bottle, cruelty-free, and it feels special. All of those details together make me understand the price. I feel like it's reasonable. Talking specifically about the Smoke Reflect Eye Duo, again, another really smart product. I love the fact that I didn't see an eyeshadow palette with this launch, so this felt very different to me. It felt very much 
on brand with who Samantha is and I really like her perspective. I feel like it's honest, I feel like it's true. All these products are just making me feel really good, you guys. So I'm going to continue supporting this brand. Huge congratulations to Sam. You did it, girl. This is so freaking amazing. I feel like this is you. Even if your name wasn't on it, this speaks for itself. I am into it, I want it, I'm buying it, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Auric by my girl Samantha. I hope you guys get to try out some of these products. Let me know what you think. So with that said, I am going to zoom on out. Definitely check out some of my other videos right here. A video that you may or may not have watched and a video that you may or may not like. So click on it. I love you guys. <laughs>